So, chorus one sounds something like this. I'll give you a preview. So, here it is. It goes like this. Okay, it's pretty long this chorus one, okay? So let's go ahead and break it up to parts and learn it, okay? So, here we go. So here we go. Um, here's the chorus, okay? The first part of chorus one goes like this. Right hand starts on the higher C sharp, middle C, C, C sharp. So it goes C sharp up to E, E, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, F sharp, E. And it goes back up. C sharp, E, E, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, F sharp, E. Okay, so that's the first part of chorus one. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. C sharp, E, E, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, F sharp, E. Up to C sharp, E, E, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, F sharp, E. So that's the right hand for the first part of this chorus, okay? So the left hand, we have four chords for this first part of the chorus one. So the four chords are F sharp minor seven, which is F sharp A, C sharp E. Then to D major, which is D, F sharp A. Then to A major, which is A, C sharp E. And then E sus four, which is E, A, B. Okay, four chords one more time for this first part. It's F sharp minor seven, D major, A major, and then E sus four. With these four chords in mind, so F sharp minor seven, D major, A major, E sus four, turn together goes like this okay so f sharp minor seven by itself right hand comes in next c sharp and d major together after e a major by itself right hand comes in and then c sharp and e sus four together okay one more time so it goes like this here and then together So that's the first part of chorus one. Moving on, the second part of chorus one continues up to um, the right hand goes up to C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, A, F sharp, A. And then up to the high G sharp, up to A, down to C sharp, and to C sharp. And then let me see, let me see, one, two. I'm just checking the bars, okay. Okay, yeah. After the C sharp, we have two Bs and the A. Okay, that was a bit long, but I was just double checking the bars. Okay, so that's correct. So, okay, let's do it again. So for the second part of chorus one, goes like this. Okay, let me see. So two C sharps, um, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, A, F sharp, and then A. Up to the high G sharp, A, down to C sharp, and then two small C sharps, and then two Bs. And then A. So this right hand for the second part of chorus one. Okay. So left hand we have. Let me see. Ah, oh, the exact same four chords as the first part of the chorus. Okay. So with these four chords in mind, so F sharp minor seven to D major to A major to E sus four. So the same four chords as the first part of the chorus. So we know already. So with these four chords in mind, the turn together for the second part of chorus one goes like this: so C sharp and F sharp minor seven together. D major by itself after the F sharp, A. High G sharp and A major together. And then B and E sus4 together. Like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. Together. Here. And then 
together, together, just like that. All right, moving on to the third part of the chorus. Okay, the third part of the chorus, it's really similar to the first part. Right hand is a tiny bit different, goes like this. Okay, check it out. So it goes, let me see. Okay, so the first half is the same. It goes C sharp, E, E, sort of, and then goes to C sharp. And then C sharp, B, B, A, A, F sharp, E. And then up to the high E, that sounds different. C sharp up to F sharp, and then three C sharps. And then D, C sharp, B, B, A, B. Okay, so that's the third part of chorus one. One more time for this third part of chorus one, so it goes like this. C sharp, E, E, C sharp, C sharp, B, B, A, A, F sharp, E. High octave above, C sharp, F sharp, and then three C sharps. And then D, C sharp, B, B, A, B. That's the right hand for the third part of this chorus one. The left hand, we have the same four chords as the first and second part, okay? So the same four chords as um, F sharp minor seven, D major, A major, and E sus four, which you know already because it's the same four chords as the chorus one, okay? And um, yeah, the first and the second part, okay? So F sharp minor seven, D major, A major, E sus four. With those in mind, the turns together for this third part of this chorus one goes like this. So chord by itself, right comes in, Next C sharp and D major together. A major by itself. After C sharp, E sus four by itself. But just like that. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. Here. Together. Here. Here. Just like that. Alright, so that's the third part. Moving on to the fourth part of the chorus. Right hand continues on to C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, B, A, F sharp, and then two A's this time. And then once again up to the high G sharp. A, C sharp, and then two C sharps, and then two B's, and then D, C sharp, B, A. Okay, so that's the right hand for this. Um, Third is third one, two, three, one, two. Oh, well, I'm counting so one, two, three, fourth part, okay? So this is the fourth part of the chorus. Okay, so one more time, so it goes like this. Three C sharps, one, two, C sharp, B, A, F sharp, A, A. Up to the high G sharp, A, down to C sharp, and then two C sharps, and then two Bs, and then up D, C sharp, B, A. So that's the right hand for the fourth part of the chorus. The left hand, we have, let me see. Okay, now, this fourth part of the chorus, we have five chords, okay? Okay, these five chords, the first four chords are the same four chords as before, which is F sharp minor seven, D major, A major, and E sus four. However, the fifth and last chord is a passing chord to C sharp seven, which is C sharp, F, G sharp, and B. It's a passing chord, nice passing chord. I really like this passing chord, but anyway, the five chords one more time, so the four chords are the first, uh, four chords are the same. F sharp minor seven, D major, A major, E sus four, and then the fifth chord is a passing C sharp seven chord. With those five chords in mind, the fourth part of this chorus one goes like this. It goes C sharp and F sharp minor seven together. A and D major together. High G sharp and A together. B and E sus four together. D and C sharp seven together. Like that. It's pretty awesome. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. Together. 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 Like that. Okay. Moving on to the fifth and last part of this chorus one. Okay. So right hand goes like this. It goes A. A, B, C sharp, C sharp, and D, C sharp, down to A, up to E three times, C sharp, and another C sharp, and then B twice, and finished, okay. So that's right hand for this fifth part of this chorus one. One more time, so it goes two A's, B, C sharp, C sharp, D, C sharp, down to A three times, up to E, C sharp, C sharp, and two B's. Okay, so that's the right hand for this um, fifth part of the um, chorus one. Okay, so that's the right hand. 
Left hand, we have, let me see, okay, four chords finishing off. The same four chords as the first, second, third part of the chorus, okay? So it's F sharp minor seven, D major, A major, and E sus four, which you know, okay? With these four chords in mind, which you know already, the two hands together goes like this. So the left hand starts with the chord by itself, and the right hand comes in, A, and then the next A and D major together. After the C sharp, A major by itself, Ryan comes in. Second C sharp and E sus four together. Just like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this. So it goes here. Together. Here. Together. Like that. So pretty much the left hand F sharp minor seven chord starts off by itself for held up for a pretty long time. But anyway, that's it for chorus one. Moving on, after the chorus one, it goes to this.